Well, we just, we're going to be taking pictures of this, but John just wanted to do a, a, a video of, this was one of the old offices I worked in, and it was Stanley Goldfarb, and um, that was my boss, <laughs> and this was a little accountant girl named Lillian, The Adventures of Stanley Goldfarb, right? And, uh, and Lillian, and this was, what the fuck was this woman's name? What the fuck was that woman's name? The sec, the, the, the old secretary. Lillian, she's talking to that one. Answer the phones. I'm going to go make some photocopies. Okay, asshole. Oh, geez. That's how Stanley Goldfarb, he always said that. And he looked like Mr. Magoo. Oh, geez. What a morning. Already smashed my car. He was always smashing his car because he couldn't see. He was literally, literally, he was Mr. Magoo, a little taller. Oh, geez, what a morning. Already smashed my car to bits. Where's my briefcase? And he's holding his briefcase, as you can say. It's in your hand, Stanley. That's how Lillian spoke. Hey, Maisie. It's in your hand, Stanley. Real Queens, Brooklyn girl. It's Mrs. Levine. If Mrs. Leah, he was always dodging Mrs. Levine. If Mrs. Levine calls, tell her I died. Where the hell is Evelyn? That's who that woman is, Evelyn. How could I forget that? He was always screaming, Evelyn. Where the hell is Evelyn? I feel like screaming at her, see? <laughs> Here's his baby because he was 80 years old or something and he had a baby with some young woman. She's making photocopies. Evelyn! Call Chubb Insurance. I wonder if Chubb is still around. And tell them some light pole and had the nerve to smash into my car. <laughs> Who took my pen, damn it? Here's Evelyn. Yes, Stanley, right away. And I'm sorry for being alive. Mrs. Levine is holding. Oh, geez. Egg salad all over me, damn it. Yeah, there was always stains all over his clothes. And he would be standing there in his undershirt. Evelyn, rinse this stuff out in the bathroom sink, will you? And then go outside and wave it dry. <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating? This was where I worked. Grand Avenue, folks, Queens, New York. All right, fine. The 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 the, the similar the similarity, the likeness that she gets in these cartoons is incredible. Yeah, it looks exactly like them. Here's that really nasty other guy, the partner, Stanley Pryor. Here's Evelyn waving the stuff. La, la, la. She's waving his shirts out in the street. Here's Stanley Pryor, his partner, who worked in the law office next door. Hey, what the hell is my sister? And Evelyn was his sister. La, la, la. Hey, what the hell is my sister doing out in the street waving a wet shirt? Geez, I don't know, Stanley. I thought she was out to lunch. Beats me. Yeah, he used to say that all the time. Beats me. You're looking very well, incidentally. Well, shut up or you'll be out on your ass. Yeah, he was, they were, it was a very bad dynamic with those two. Oh, Stanley. And this is the, this girl is that guy's daughter. Yes, it was a weird office. Oh, Stanley. Hi, a boopy. You look so sexy in that undershirt. Too bad you're already married. Yeah, Barbara. Oh, geez, bro. She went on to become like a a DA or something, like a big shot at the courthouse. Oh, geez, Barbara. You're always so honest. Shucks. Stanley, your shirt is finally dry. <laughs> Here's Helen. I recognize her anywhere. That was Stanley Pryor's lover. Naturally blonde tresses. That's not true. Lady. And that's how she spoke to Evelyn. And she looked like the wicked witch of the fucking, yeah. Lady, as soon as your Stanley is free, my Stanley would like to see him. La la la. Okay, Helen. What a beautiful dress. You look just lovely. <laughs> Listen, Mason. And this was Stanley's nephew by his first wife. Who's dead? Stanley, listen, Mason, you're really in charge here. You have to take all the responsibility. I trust you with the entire company. 
Stanley, what do you mean? What are you trying to say? Go in and talk to Priya. He wants to talk to you. <laughs> Because he's afraid, he's afraid to go talk to him. So he wants to send his nephew in to fight with Stanley Pryor. Everybody following us? Back to Evelyn. You know, Stanley, that Lynn left everything in such a state. See, this is after I quit. So this is, the, I'm the fly on the wall now because I'm no longer in the office. She left everything in such a state. She was really incompetent. I can't believe what a mess. Yeah, you know, it's a good thing she left. I was thinking of firing her for months. They were so angry when I told them I was leaving because I did, like, all the fucking work. Mm. And got paid shit. I guess they fig figured they could do that to a, a, a you know, a 20-year-old girl, whatever. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Levine's been holding for about three hours. What should I tell her? Oh, come on. <laughs> Hang up on her. If she calls back, tell her I went home. Lillian. Here comes Lillian. Listen, here's Ginger's checkbook. Ginger is his second wife, who's like 35 years younger than him. Please drop everything and finish the f this first, or she won't let me have any pizza tonight. Yeah, okay, Stanley. He had He used to take turns with me and Lillian. We used to have to balance his wife's personal checkbook because she was too busy going out shopping with all of his money. Back to Stanley Pryor. Hey, stop whatever you're doing. It's Groundhog Day and we got to have cake, Drew. <laughs> because they always would, they, that's all they wanted to do when they weren't doing other stupid things is like eating cake in this conference room that we all had to go to this conference room and eat cake. And everybody hated each other and was like glowering at each other. Here's the, here's the various employee quotes around the table. <laughs> Lena, this is great. Yeah, it's really amazing. I'm very proud of this, this, this comic strip. Let me get the paper plates. Do we have enough half and half? Isn't this fun? Oh, boy. Jeez, give me a big piece. Let me out of here. What's going on? Whose birthday is it? I wish I had a joint... Save a piece for Mercedes. Mercedes is the cleaning woman. Little, spoke no English. My best friend in place. Lactose-free milk will eventually save all of mankind. <laughs> that was, that was Mason, the young guy. <laughs> he liked you. I liked him too. He was funny. Nice Jewish boy. Married, oh well. Mm. Here's this girl, Irene. She was, she was uh, going to be my replacement. Um, she took my place eventually. She came in as a part-timer. That's why I kind of like, all right, Irene, I'm leaving it all to you. And so they all gather for the feast. The newcomer, Irene, quiet and unassuming. Evil Pryor, grr. Evil Helen, grr. Evelyn, la, la, la. Lillian, just sitting there, like, wishing she had a joint. Here's Mercedes. This looks like, yeah. Bien, gracias. Si. Here's Mason. I'm not hungry. Here's Barbara hanging on Stanley. He's so cute when he eats. Here's Stanley. Burp, drool. Stanley Goldfarb. Who else? Twitch, twitch, grr. What's going on with prior hair? My sister tells me you come in at one o'clock every day. What the hell is he talking about? Yeah, I remember he starts yelling at this new girl who has... It's none of his business. She's not your secretary, you idiot. She works in the other office. Oy. After the cake period, shiver, shake. He's got ketchup all over his pants and dog shit on his shoes. Stanley Goldfarb. Ah, uh, you wanted to speak to me? Priya. You Both named Stanley. You better believe it. Last night there was 12000 in cash in my top drawer. It's now missing. I want to interrogate everyone in your side of the office, including you. Grrr. And here we come upon the uh, wrap-up. Will Stanley Goldfarb find his pen? Will Stanley Pryor find his money? Will Evelyn stop singing? Will Barbara get laid? Will Helen get bent? Will Mercedes have cake? Will Irene and Lillian escape? Will Mason ever speak to Pryor? Will Goldfarb's auto insurance be canceled? Will Mrs. Levine call back? 
the answers to all of these questions and more in the next exciting episode of The Adventures of Stanley Goldfarb. Da, 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 da. Bomb.